Our beloved Baltimore Ravens, what an offseason it's been, right? They get to keep their quarterback. They add some nice new pieces. They have a solid draft. And hey, we're here now. And expectations are really high. But there's just a few positions where there's still some question marks. I know cornerback has been one of them. When you think about the top two cornerbacks, Marlon Humphrey and Rocky Cena, you're like, oh, okay, cool. But after that, it's like, ooh, uh, I don't know what's going on yet. And I did see something that said, hold up. Don't buy your, your, your Marcus Peters Raiders jersey yet. So we'll see what happens with that. But another area of concern for these Baltimore Ravens is at pass rush. Uh, Justin Houston, not returning. Calais Campbell, not returning. Well, Justin Houston not returning for now, at least. So we'll see. But even still, even if he did return, there will still be that concern for the Ravens pass rush. But there's somebody out there. Well, in there, in the Baltimore Ravens, part of the Baltimore Ravens, because he's not a free agent, obviously, uh, that is really sort of kind of, not technically, but it's kind of going into his rookie year now. And that is David Ajabo. And somebody made a really good point on Twitter. I forgot who it was yesterday, but they were like, essentially, David Ajabo is, is like, it's like having a first round pick because he's actually still younger than some of the top pass rushers that went this year. And I saw that. I was like, huh. Well, that, that, that's interesting, and that's something that I never really thought about, and I kind of forget forget about, because last year was his red shirt year. Last year, he played, like, a game and changed, because there was one game where he played a couple of snaps, and then, like, the next couple of games, you saw him for maybe, like, one snap. You ain't really see him too much, because they took it super, super easy with David Ajabo. Uh, obviously, he had that injury that he suffered, the Achilles injury, I believe, that he suffered at his pro day, where everybody just looking around, standing around, sitting there, posted up, watching him, and they like, oh, no, I'm not going to help him get up. But anyway, um, David Ajabo is somebody that could hopefully really help this Baltimore Ravens pass rush because they need all the help that they can get. Last year was rough. It was really rough. Uh, they had injuries to guys. They brought in guys like Jason Pierre-Paul, um, and, and it just... It was up and down. They had Stephen Means for a bit, but then he got hurt. Uh, Michael Pierce. I know Michael Pierce is not really a pass rusher, but as far as the defensive line, what he could have done and how he could have helped, uh, it was just missing. It, we, it was missing. But anyway, uh, he had a presser yesterday with the Baltimore Ravens, and it was funny. It, it was funny. Obviously, the, the, the most funny part was uh, it was right at the end. Um, because he went through all these questions. They went through all the serious questions and whatnot, asking about all this different stuff. Uh, but then somebody asked, him, hey, you, you, you going to try to get your old number? Get your college number? That 55? And he said, Terrell Suggs, shut that down. He said, Terrell Suggs, say, nope, not at all, not happening. He said, Terrell Suggs was not going for it. And what got me with that is he said, They've had conversations, plural. So I'm like, man, they, they were the job holder, really trying. And Terrell Suggs were really not buying it. He said, no, you ain't going for it. Because it'd be one thing if you say, oh, yeah, we, we, we talked about it. We had a conversation about it. But no, he said they had conversations, plural, more than one, at least more than one. Um, and then they even said Steve Bashani got involved too. I'm like, man, y'all really took it that high? To the highest level of the Baltimore Ravens, that you took it to the owner about the number, like man, he's like, hey, that, those must have been some serious conversations, man, about that number. Cause I'm like, wow, okay, like, but at the same time, like, I get it. I, if I was Terrell Suggs, uh, I know it with Joe Flat. Joe Flacco don't care about that number. Joe Flacco don't care. Super Bowl champion, Super Bowl MVP, he don't, he don't care about that number. The game, when, when every, I remember when everybody was flipping about when Hollywood switched to five, they were like, oh, blah, 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 blah. Joe Flacco ain't care. He ain't care. And then they, they gave the number two, I think, Jalen Armour Davis now. So that, that five been floating around like crazy, man. But anyway, with Terrell Suggs, it's a little different. Two-time Super Bowl champion, Terrell Suggs now. Don't forget. Don't forget. Because he got that Super Bowl championship with the Chiefs too now. But anyway... I know some people are like, oh, man, that's just a participation award. But regardless, he got it. Um, Terrell Suggs, Hall of Fame career. Did, did he even retire yet? I don't even think he retired yet. I don't remember hearing none about him retiring. But anyway, Hall of Fame career. Um, former Defensive Player of the Year. Uh, and obviously, Terrell Suggs has created so many memorable moments for the Baltimore Ravens. 
Um, it was just crazy, man. It, it, it was crazy. And, oh, yeah, he got signed by the Cardinals, right? Then he played for the Cardinals for like two seconds. Then that's when he got, they released him, and then he went to the Chiefs. I forget that he went to the Cardinals. It's so weird, man. But anyway, um, why would he give up the number? Like, there's some, like, Ravens don't officially retire numbers, but they kind of retire numbers because they got some numbers, some jersey numbers in the shed that they ain't taking out. They, they not giving away. Like, I even be feeling bad. Like, I, I'll be playing Madden. I'll be playing Madden. I'll be going through my connected franchise. And I, I'll be drafting corners and stuff, safeties, linebackers, all that stuff. And they can have whatever number they want. But I feel weird when I draft a linebacker and inside or outside linebacker. And they got a 52 right there. I said, I, I got to change that. Uh-uh. I got to change that. Cause it, it just it don't feel right. And then even when a cornerback or a safety that I draft, they get the number 20. I said, no, 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 no. I, I, I just can't do it. Do y'all do the same thing? I, I, I be doing it every time. I'm like, it, it, it's so weird, man. And then it's like, man, me as the... The head coach slash owner slash Madden GM, whatever you want to call me. I take whatever title. But I'm like, man, my, my expectations be higher when I see that number on them. Because it's like, hey, those, those are some guys right there. But anyway, anyway, let's get back to real life. Um, but yeah, he why why would he get that number? Um, because again, there, there's some jersey numbers where Ravens just don't give them out. Obviously, 75, Jonathan Ogden. Um... Ray Lewis, 52. Air Reed. Air Reed being number 20. Uh, and Terrell Suggs is another one of them. He's another one of them. Now, Lodi Nada number, like, uh, and I know Lodi Nada was nice. That, that man was a beast. He wasn't quite on the, he was nice. He was great. Again, not taking nothing away from Lodi Nada now. But he wasn't on that level of those guys. But he's, again, he's a beast. But I guess Ravens, sometimes they like, we, we can't retire every number. So that, that 92, they were like, hey, there you go. Matter BK, hey, do what you want with that. Do what you want with it. Um, there's some other note, like 21. That's Chris McAllister. There's uh, that Ladarius Webb and whatnot. I know those ain't Hall of Fame guys or anything like that, but still. Um, then there's even 31 with Jamal Lewis, uh, who actually could be a Hall of Famer. He got the numbers to be a Hall of Famer, but anyway. Um, cause I, that? Bernard Pollard had 31, but anyway, so there's a certain set of numbers that Ravens just like, Hey, y'all ain't touching it. Have they given out 74 for Marshall Yonder? What was Marshall? Yeah. Marshall Yonder was 70. No, he was 73. He was 73. Are they giving that out? I don't think so. But anyway, anyway, regardless, uh, I, I, I get why David Ajay, why Terrell Suggs like, no. No, you you ain't getting that. Cause I mean he he hasn't even done anything in the league yet. And I and I get it. He want like you're not look good, feel good. I get it. Cause it's true. When you look like when you look good, you got on a certain whether it's a hoodie, whether it's a shirt, whether it's a shoes, whether it's the whole thing. When you and that's in anything, it ain't just in football. When you look good, that, that could give you a nice little confidence boost. That could give you a nice feel feel like you got a little more swag and whatnot. And you just might be feeling yourself a little bit. Not in no cocky way or nothing like that. But you're like, oh, okay, hey, hey, yeah, that, that'll just give you a nice little boost. And it's the same way in football, too. Look good, feel good, play good. All three go together. But um, if he hasn't accomplished anything yet in the league. Now, he did say in the presser, um, he, he did talk about how when he did get that sack, I think it was that face mask sack on uh, Joe Burrow, but when he got that sack, um, he said that's when he realized, like, oh, okay, I'm here, I'm here. Playing with the big boys now, playing with grown men now. It's real now. Um, something that I appreciated too, especially going into this year, uh, with last year being his sort of red shirt year, um, he talked about how he already knows the defense. The defense, the playbook on defense is not an issue for him. And that's something that I forget about a lot too, because Mike McDonald, Ravens defensive coordinator, he was David Ajabo's uh coach, his defensive coach, uh, at Michigan. So it's just a continuation for Ajabo. It's just that continuity for him, that consistency. So it's nothing that he doesn't know already. So that'll make it even easier for him going into his technically second year, but more kind of like first year, but it'll make it easier for him. 
just moving forward. And, and that's a beautiful thing, especially when you missed most of last season. He talked about the injury. He said he tired of talking about the injury, really. He said he ain't want to hear about it no more. He ain't want to talk about it no more because he said he never got injured before. So it was just weird. It was different uh, just having to sit there and do nothing. Um, but he said he is over it. He's past it. Now he, like, again, this, we, we are much different. He said that he added 10 pounds. You get heavier, get a little more muscle, whatnot. If I add 10 pounds, <laughs> it ain't going to look the same as David Ajabo with 10 pounds now, man. And trust me, I done done it before. I done done it. So it's, it's, it's different, man. But he, he wanted to bulk up a little bit. I'm like, okay. Um, I know John Harbaugh. What John Harbaugh called his legs last year? What he called him, like beach legs or something like that? I forgot what. Because he, he was talking about David Ajabo with little legs last year. Uh, John Harbaugh had got on him, but anyway, man, I, I'm 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 really looking forward to that because again, pass rush is a big question mark this year. It's a big question mark. A lot of us have been wondering if the Ravens are going to add somebody. Uh, what are they going to do at the pass rush position? Um, he, of course, it was brought up about him and Adafe away. Uh, them just their journey, uh, playing high school ball together, them being friends, and them going their separate ways for college, and them reuniting. And David Ajabo said, oh, it just, it's God's plan. And then everything worked out. Um, and he said that hopefully they, they just want to be playmakers. They want to be impact players. And he said they want to make Harbaugh happy. <laughs> oh, hey, that's a great answer. I see, hey, he trying to be slick. And he uh, slipped them little Harbaugh quotes in there, them Harbaugh compliments and all that. Hey, give me some more playing time, Harbaugh. I know what you do. I, I know what he's doing. You know the game. We get it. Ain't, ain't no problem with that. You get your playing time with Jabo. But um, yeah, I'm I'm hoping that he can help unlock Adafi away because the potential sitting right there. You know, Adafi away is super super raw. He started playing football late. The potential's there though. It, 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 he's close, and he t he even talked about it. He talked about how last year it was so many close sacks, so many almost sacks, and yes, we know we 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 seen that. That is that is the Baltimore Ravens right there. A lot of almost sacks. Um, from their past rushes. Um, but, yeah, hopefully this year they can turn a corner, and, and uh, especially Adafi away, uh, and he can really just start sealing the deal because uh, that, that would be nice because, again, the potential is there. And if they those two opposite each other, they can help unlock each other, man, sky would be the limit, man. Past the sky would be the limit. It, it, it would just be a beautiful thing because, again, pass rush, it's been an issue for the Ravens for a while. Just having consistency at pass rush because they just they hadn't had it. They hadn't had it uh, for a while. They've been trying all these different things, all these different ways. And I think last year was a sl little bit of an improvement over has been the previous years and whatnot. But still, pass rush uh, was an issue. So we'll see how this thing goes, man. We'll see how it goes. Obviously, still got Tyus Bowser uh, as well. Um, Trenton Simpson, we'll see how they work the stuff out with him. Patrick Queen, he's still on the team for now, so you got him, uh, who's an excellent blitzer. And obviously, Kyle, Ham Kyle Hamilton, hey, I, we said it a lot last year. Kyle Hamilton was the best pass rusher last year. He is a safety, so I think that's an issue. But kudos to Kyle, but they, somebody else got to be a, a, a good pass rusher. I mean, Marlon Humphrey's a good pass rusher, a little, well, good blitzer. I can't say pass rusher, but it's a little difference between pass rushing and blitzing and whatnot. But, yeah, you get it. Um... So yeah, man, this is uh this is something that yeah hopefully they can unlock each other and, and really they can help each other and obviously coaching staff and everything they can really tap into these guys' potential because again potential is there but potential is nothing if it isn't tapped into so it's really important that um, the Ravens uh, they get the most out of these guys so we'll see how it goes anyway team keep it clean I love y'all so much I appreciate y'all so much and like David Ajabo won't be like he was last year, well, for the majority of the year. We out. Love y'all.